All right, here are the stories we're covering this week in the Category 5.TV newsroom. Carrier locked phones are being outlawed in Canada and providers must unlock phones for free. Amazon is buying Whole Foods Market. Tim Cook has confirmed Apple is working on a self-driving car system. End-to-end encryption for online services may become law. And we finally have a release date for Star Trek Discovery. These stories are coming right up. Don't go anywhere. Jeff Weston, yeah, man. you're building a brand new beautiful website. What? Aren't you? No. Am I? Oh, you're a terrible actor. What? This is where acting comes into play. Oh, I didn't know we were acting. You're supposed to act. Okay, fair enough. All right. yeah, I'm building a really cool website. Are you building a really cool website? You need hosting. One of the things about a hosting account is you don't want to have limitations put on your website. It's true. How much hard drive space do you have? How many email accounts? How many domains can point to it? Well, we've got an amazing deal for you. For a very limited time, cat5.tv slash dreamhost. For just $5 and a bit of change per month, you are going to get unlimited website hosting, unlimited email accounts on that hosting uh, service. You are also going to receive a free domain name. Ooh. So your own .com. Nice. To put that amazing website that you've been working on it's on true. there. If you run, if you want to build a WordPress site, fine. Sign up. Cat5.tv slash dreamhost. Just don't put Panama Papers on it. Just don't do it. But hey, uh, it's a great deal, folks. Best deal you're going to find. $5 and change per month. Go to cat5.tv slash dreamhost. I'm Sasha Dermatis, and here are the top stories for the week of June 21st, 2017. Canada's broadcast regulator has ruled that cell phone networks may no longer charge fees for carrier unlocking handsets, nor sell new phones locked to their network. The Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission, CRTC, said that as of December 1st of this year, phone sellers will be banned from selling handsets locked to a specific carrier, and all carriers will be required to unlock unlock customer handsets for free. The change is part of a larger overhaul the CRTC has made to Canada's wireless code, a set of consumer rights guidelines that the CRTC manages. In addition to the unlocking rule, the CRTC also mandated that any new charges from overage fees or roaming charges be approved by the primary account holder. This applies mainly to shared family plans where the parent who owns the account will now need to give permission before racking up additional charges. Remember, we had an we had a news story where somebody's charges got like that was racked oh, yeah. right yeah. up. Yeah. So this is this is good. I think it's about time. Yeah, <laughs> like especially with the fees. Oh yeah, we go to Jamaica, and I needed like Dave needed a phone unlocked, and it cost I think fifty dollars to do it. Oh wow! Yeah, see the unlocking is... thing that bugs me that they lock phones and you've got to pay to unlock it. Yeah, like my phone was locked to a network, and I paid for the unlock code and I did it myself mm -hmm. oh. and we're great yeah. so I now use it you can I, go to Jamaica I do whatever I want <laughs> yeah. I, I swap sims all the time just because I've got certain sims for certain things and so some have internet some are just pay as you go he's You're an a international secret agent, spy you? yes, yeah, I, yeah <laughs> secret my secret is out here's what bugs me is our Canadian um, regulators don't <laughs> understand they don't understand how things actually work in reality yeah they don't plain and simple Let's say you're paying mm -hmm. an astronomical fee for LTE internet and you're downloading a six gig file. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're downloading the 4.4 gig Debian ISO or image. Okay. And then all of a sudden you approach your cap. Right. The, the presumed cap, mm -hmm. like just the point where they need to ask you, are you sure you want to continue downloading? Yeah. Yeah. So now I get four gigs of my 4.4 gig download into my download on LTE, mm -hmm. and then they cut off the download. Can and you resume everything it? Stops. Or does everything it? stops. Oh. Hmm. I lose the download, and then I bring up my browser, and it's a presentation from the regulator saying, you've reached your cap. Would you like to authorize more use? So yes. I'm, I'm sure there's settings you can... But it just continues there along. Are not. This is a regulation Does that the government puts in and says the, the phone companies are not allowed to disable that. So 
then when you say yes, does the download just continue? No, no you have to you start, start again. Over. Unless you're using a download accelerator or something like that, which would be brilliant, but who does on their phone? So then your six gig download, which you got four gigs into, you have to start over. You, you have, have to start, start over. over. So it's no, now I a ten pay, gig now I download. Have to pay for and that. the thing is, in Canada, okay. we don't yeah, really have any like you know cellular providers that have unlimited data yet. No. Right. Um. So like I know in the states and in Europe they have like other companies that you can say, hey, I want to pay for unlimited data. Sure. We don't have that in Canada, unfortunately. Yeah. We only have like two or three major companies. You can understand their reasoning from a, from a paper standpoint. Like, hey, yeah. this looks good on paper. Let's make sure that if someone's going to go over five gigs that we let them know and require them to authorize continued use. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. In reality, though, it right. costs me money. It costs me uh. pointless money. Mm. And drives me nuts. I don't share mine with anybody. Dave and I even have separate data yeah. plans altogether. We have That's no fine. sharing. Stop messing with my internet, CRTC. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Online retail giant Amazon is buying Whole Foods in a $13.7 billion deal that marks its biggest push into traditional retailing yet. Amazon, which has long eyed the grocery business, will buy the upmarket super upmarket supermarket for forty two dollars a share. Investors greeted the deal as game changing for the industry, sending shares of rival groceries grocers plunging. But Whole Foods, which has been under pressure has climbed. Founded in 1978 in Texas, Whole Foods was a pioneer of the move forward towards natural and organic foods. It has grown to more than 460 stores in the US, Canada and the UK and employs about 87,000 people. The takeover deal, the biggest in Amazon's history, is expected to be completed in the second half of the year, pending approval by shareholders and antitrust regulators. The takeover also makes Amazon an instant player in the grocery industry, where it has operated at the fringes since launching its food business service, Amazon Fresh, in Seattle in 2007. Apple's chief executive has confirmed it is developing a self-driving car system but tim cook indicated that it is too soon to say whether it would license the tech to other car makers or try to build its own vehicles his interview with the bloomberg news agency yielded his most detailed comments about the project to date until now apple has avoided publicly discussing its plans although it has confirmed the scheme in u.s filings mr cook told Bloomberg, we're focusing on autonomous systems and clearly one purpose of autonomous systems is self-driving cars. There are others. And we sort of see it as the mother of all AI, artificial intelligence projects. It's probably one of the most difficult AI, pro AI projects to work on. He goes on to say, we'll see where it takes us. We're not saying from a product point of view where it will take us, but we are being straightforward that it's a core technology that we view as very important. He added that the rise of AI, electric vehicles, and ride sharing presented an opportunity. The publication of the interview coincides with an announcement by General Motors that it has completed production of 130 self-driving Chevrolet Bolt cars at a factory in Michigan. Meanwhile, Audi has began testing has begun testing a July reveal of a new car, the A8, that will introduce semi-automatic features of its own. So I feel like there are some problems in self-driving cars of late. So this should be an interesting situation for Apple to get into. They're pretty non-committed, eh? They're super, super non-committed well, we'll in that. we'll see how this goes. It's kind of like a, have... We'll see how MP3 players and smartphones go. Uh, okay, go. <laughs> Full tilt. No, yeah. well, Everybody else, yeah. check it out. Okay, now go. Well, as a, like, a kind of Apple fanboy, I guess I, I was raised on Macs, I know. Um, but like, I'm happy to kind of see a move that they're thinking in the general direction because sure. I think there's been a lack of like new things from Apple recently, unfortunately. A lack of innovation from Apple? Wow. I know that's coming from a fanboy <laughs> too. Yeah. No, but I'm, I'm happy to see them branching out. Um, and just to relate to like that Amazon story as well, you know what's coming now, right? Hmm. Whole Foods Prime. Nice. Just wait for it. Wait Whole for Foods it. Prime <gasps> Rib. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> a European Parliament committee is proposing that end-to-end -end encryption be enforced on all forms of digital communications to protect citizens. The draft legislation seeks to protect sensitive personal data from hacking and government surveillance. EU citizens are entitled to personal privacy and this extends to online communications, the proposal argues. A ban on backdoors into encrypted messaging apps like WhatsApp and Telegram is also being considered. Encryption involves digitally scrambling a communication to protect its contents and then using a digital key to reassemble the data. End-to-end -end encryption means that the company providing the service does not have access to the key, meaning it cannot listen in to what is being shared, giving the sender and recipient added confidence in the privacy of their conversation. The proposal seeks to amend Article 7 of the EU's Chapter of Fundamental Rights to add online privacy. It will require approval by, committee, by committee's members, the wider European Parliament, and the Council of Ministers before it can be passed into law. That is actually good news, that there. I think privacy in WhatsApp and such. Well, if they're forcing mm -hmm. encryption, end to end yeah. encryption in Europe, then we start to see that impact here. us here in Canada. Yeah. Right. And well, it's global, right? Well, it, it becomes, yeah, the internet is global, and, mm -hmm. and we're all, you know, a lot of English speaking folks. And, mm -hmm. you know, so what mm -hmm. happens is, is that we, in order to uh, appease those regulations so that mm -hmm. European site visitors can visit our websites yeah mm -hmm. we have to comply to these well regulations it's just, as well it's like the regulations in the eu right now like you know that like we use cookies on our site it's one of their regulatory things you so know, it's like that when you go to category 5 yeah. tv which is based out of canada hosted in the united states in mm -hmm. part and we have cdns all over the world yeah we on our website have that you know cookie statement because yeah. that's a regulation in the uk exactly so there you go. Maybe people didn't know that. I didn't What's know that. What's that doing there? Now you I just always new. say okay because I don't know what cookies are, but they're called they're cookies. They're tasty. Delicious. They're so I know. I'm good. like, okay, I guess yeah. if everybody's doing this cookie thing, I'll, I'm will i okay with it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. The latest chapter in the Star Trek saga has finally had its premiere date with the 15 episode season set to be released in two chapters. Star Trek Discovery will launch on Sunday, September 24th with a broadcast premiere on the CBS in the US and Space Channel in Canada. The series premiere will also be available on demand on CBS All Access and the second episode of the series will be available on the service that same night immediately following the broadcast premiere. Star Trek Discovery will also stream exclusively in Canada on Crave TV with full scheduling details to be released in the coming weeks. Not in, the can not in Canada or the U.S.? Don't worry. Netflix will launch Star Trek Discovery on Monday, September 25th. The first eight episodes will air from September through November with the second chapter being released in January 2018. And the crowd goes yes. wild. <laughs> Finally, Aww. we've got a date. Yes. Our first Star Trek in a long time, all I can it's say is. It's a date. <laughs> yeah. Booked. We have to have like a viewing party or we something. We can do that. Just live stream. Yeah. <laughs> Watch with the audience. There we go. <laughs> nice. Thanks for watching the Category5.tv newsroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And for more free content, be sure to check out our website. From the Category5.tv newsroom, I'm Sasha Dermatis.